Okay, it's recording. Okay, uh, this is going to be deboning a trout 101. Tools you're going to need are some dikes, some needle nose pliers for falling out the pin bones, dikes will be for cutting the spine, and a knife, of course. So I've already uh, field dressed this. Uh, this trout here, you can see. So to start, you take the knife and we're going to cut all the way down here to the tail. Doesn't have to be all that clean, but as far as you want to get the uh, spine out. Just like that. You see? Okay, so now. After we got that, now we see the spine right here, right? We're going to take the knife. As you can see there, I don't know if Linda's getting it there, but there's the spine. We're going to cut right down. Now it's important here not to cut down through the skin down here. You won't have a sealed up piece of meat. But if you can see here how I'm just cutting right down the spine. And when you get here, there's a little bone. You kind of Fin bone right there. Cut all the way up here to the head. Now you go to the other side of the spine. Cut down there, right down the spine, like so. You can see it gets really easy down here at the end because there's. I'm gonna cut this bone out. If you find any bone, that's what these tweezers are for. You can cut the bone. Like Like that. Okay, so you see I cut this down. So there's the spine sticking up now. You can see I trim that all down like that. Okay. Now you take the dikes, cut the spine with that in, one snap there. Down with that in there just like that. Pull that spine right up out of there like that. There's the spine. Gone. That's all meat. Okay, so let me uh, dry my hands off here. Now, we got the rib cage right here. What you do there is you get the knife underneath it like so. As you can see, I can just take those rib bones, get the knife right underneath it like that and just shave them right off. And you do that to all the rib bones. Just like that. The closer you shave, the more meat you're going to get. the ribs one side. Let me get those. No, let's get those. I'd have to trim them a little bit to get them, but definitely some meat there. Okay, I'm gonna go for those. And uh, then you do the same thing on this side. Start getting underneath those bones just like this. Good sharp knife helps.
you gotta use the bones as they where you rub the knife against and you get the most meat. So if you have any bones like that, you can grab them with the pliers and pull them out, as you see. That's the rest of the rib. Pull this out of here. Almost there. That's a fin bone. You can either leave those. They kind of look good for when you serve it. Okay. Now, there's a couple other spots here. This is important right here. These are the ones that you eat, that I hate eating. So, if you feel right here, there's these bones called a pin bone. There's like, I think, three or... You can feel them as you go. That's what the needle nose are for. Like, if you look close, I don't know if that camera's getting it, but there's one right there. All you do is grab it with the pliers, like so, pull it out. See that? Feel the next one with your hand, there it is. Boom. Pull it out. Now, depending on the size of the trout, you're going to have more of these. Uh, but there's only a handful on each side. But you just rub your finger up against them like that and you'll feel them. There's another one. These will be the last bones in this thing. And then it'll be a deboned trout. And what I like about that is that uh, you can just mow down and eat it like crazy and not worry about a single bone. Okay, I think there's one more. Let's see. Did I get them all? Oh, there's one. And looks like maybe one more. 